Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a Pale Morning Dawn Nymph. The hook I have in advice is a 5262. This is a size 12. It is too extra long, too extra heavy. From Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. We're going to start by adding weight to it. And I have 15 thousandths lead free wire. And we're going to start just about at the point. And I put about, I think, 17 wraps on there. Somewhere around 15 will be good. And we're going to remove the excess. I'm going to use brown thread. This just happens to be Vivas 14 Ot. We're going to start the thread in back of the eye and we're going to cover the lead wraps. When we reach the back we're going to put a several wraps on the back and move it forward once again and bring it back. We're going to continue our thread back to where the thread would hang at the barb of the hook. For our tail, we're going to use mallard flank dyed wood duck. And I'm going to take, you see this little sliver off there? That's about the amount I'm going to use for the tail. Five or six barbels. And we want this tail to be just the length of the hook shank. No longer. And we'll put a wrap underneath the tail. And we can remove the excess. Now I'm going to take a rib. And this rib is fine gold wire. I'm going to attach this to the far side of my hook. Keep it out of the way. Secure that. And bring that thread back. Now for our gills, I have a natural emu feather. You can use a ostrich hurl. But I don't have any natural in ostrich. I have the the emu. The emu are just a little bit skinnier. The barbels are just a little skinnier. We're going to tie this right to the side of the hook. I'm going to start with the far side. We're going to take another and we're going to tie this to my side of the hook. And you want to keep them on the sides. Now for the abdomen, I have an amber brown. I'm going to use an Antron dubbing. And we're going to make a tight noodle. And we want this pretty small. So you spread it out there pretty good if you're using the Antron. But you want amber brown if you use fur. We're going to go ahead and wrap the abdomen. And I need just a little bit more.
Now we're going to take the emu feather and we're going to lay it along the sides and we're going to tie that down. And we take the second and we tie that down. And you can break off the excess. I'm going to take the gold wire and we're going to wrap the rib and we're going to palmer this forward and secure that. Now for the wing case, I have a turkey tail from the tip. And we're going to tie that in. Make sure that's on top there. And we can remove that excess. Now for the tail, I got a partridge feather and I held the tip and you stroke all of the barbels to the rear and we're going to tie that in so it's curved up with the concave side to the center. Hold that right on top and we're going to secure that. And we can remove the excess. Bring that thread back to the abdomen and your feather should be like that. Now we're going to take more of the amber brown dubbing and we're going to make this noodle a little thicker because it's going to be the thorax. We're going to wrap that thorax. Give me just a little bit more. Now we're going to take that partridge feather, we're going to fold that over and we're going to tie that in. You can almost divide the barbels to where you want the legs. And you want to keep that on top. and secure that and get rid of that excess and your fly should be looking somewhat like that. We're going to take the wing case 
Fold that over, stroke the legs towards the rear. And we can tie that in. Lift that up, put a couple of wraps in front. Oop, come on. Remove that excess and wrap the head. Take our whip finisher. Take some head cement. I'm going to put head cement on the wing case. Good amount. Don't be shy. It'll soak in. And get the head. And here we have a pale morning done nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.